All right, today I'm gonna teach you how to use this dice tray to play your game for this week, which is Horse Race. This is a game from the book by Jane and John Felling. So we're gonna pretend that one player, so it's a two player game, one player is one color and another player is the other color. So each one of these are horses. And you're trying to get the most number of horses into the race. So I will dump them out. And the best way to do that is to put the lid on, flip it upside down, and pull it up. We want to be really gentle with these trays. So I'll it off onto the ground or the table. And I sort out the white ones. For one player and the blue ones for the other. So it's just me here right now. I'm gonna show you how to play it. And I'm just gonna to pretend to be player one or player two, and you'll be able to tell by the color of the dice. So you take all your dice and you should have 18 dice each. So let's count two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. I have eighteen of the blue and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen of the white. Okay, so we are going to play horse race right now. And I've set it all up. I'm using the tray. This tray is going to be the horses that are in the race, and this tray is going to be the horses that are in the barn. As a player, you win when you get the most horses in the race, and the player with the most horses in the barn comes in second. So how do we get our horses into the race? Well, whoever's turn it is to go first, and I think we decided it was the white dice we're gonna go first. So I would just roll them, if I was that player, and then I'd look at what I have. So I have a five and a six, and I would add them together. You can count the pips on the dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Or if it's a fact that you know, you can just say 11. So you'd say six and five are 11. The next player would then roll their dice. And so blue dice has four and one, which is five pips. So the person, the player who has the highest score gets to put their horses in the race. So I would take my horses and put them in the race. And then this person's dice, are going to go to the barn. And this is how we play. So then we go again, roll the dice for this player. So this player had a five and a four. I know five and five is 10. So five and four is gonna be one less than that. It's gonna be nine. So five and four is nine. Then the blue player would roll their dice. So it was a five and a two. Five and two is seven. I know that because I can start at five and count up six. So five, six, seven. So the person with the highest score for this round is still the white dice over here. So I'll move them over here. And then the blue dice, because their score was lower, gets to put their horses in the barn. And we'll continue like that. Taking turns. So the white go and then oh that one is a double spot five and five is ten and then blue gets to roll two dices oh blue your luck is your luck is lucky today four and one so four and one more is five ten five and five is ten four and one is five ten is the bigger number so ten goes to the horse race and five goes in the barn i can zoom out and you can see how that's working i'm keeping the same color dice together to make it easier to see where the game's going and we just keep going like this So as you can see, the game is done now. This player won because they had the most dice in the race. And this player came in second place because they had the most dice in the barn, most horses in the barn. So the most horses in the race and the most horses in the barn. First place, second place. You can extend this activity by talking about how many of each or in each, you can practice writing the numbers. So you can say there were four blue horses in the race. There were two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 white horses in the race. There were four, so it's the same on this side, but reversed. There were 14 
two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen blue horses in the barn, and there were two, four, or one, two, three, four horses in the barn from the white team. And that's that game. It's a super simple way to practice counting and comparing numbers. It's very fun, and I hope you enjoy it.